the fireworks began almost immediately on stage at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, where the candidates met for the first of three scheduled debates in coming weeks in Texas's closely watched Senate race in which Cruz, the one-term incumbent, has struggled to stay ahead of O'Rourke, a rising star Democrat whose candidacy has attracted large crowds and celebrity support. Cruz, a champion debater going back to his college years at Princeton, seemed more comfortable at the podium, and more confrontational. But he has struggled to overcome a style some voters, and fellow senators, including in his own party, consider condescending, and was occasionally caught by the camera in a smug smirk while O'Rourke was speaking. The debate itself drew an unusual degree of national attention for a statewide race. Texas has not elected a Democrat to the Senate since 1988, but Democrats have been eyeing it as a possible pickup in their long-shot drive to retake the upper chamber. O'Rourke, a three-term congressman who represents El Paso, began the debate by calling for an overhaul in the nation's immigration policies, including allowing a pathway to citizenship for so-called dreamers, young immigrants who were brought into the country illegally as children. Senator Cruz has promised to deport each and every single dreamer, O'Rourke said. That cannot be the way that Texas leads on this issue. And in a tactic he deployed regularly throughout the night, Cruz jabbed back at O'Rourke, timing his remarks for the part of the format where the congressman was not allotted time to respond. He fired back that O'Rourke's focus over and over again seems to be fighting for illegal immigrants. In the debate Friday he accused Cruz of twisting his words, saying, this is your trick in the trade, to confuse, and to incite fear. Asked if he had concerns about the number of police shootings involving people of color, Cruz touched the question, saying he believed that everyone's rights should be protected and that he's been to too many police funerals, which he partially blamed on inflamed rhetoric against law enforcement. The two also clashed on issues including gun control, drug legalization and Brett Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court amid allegations of sexual misconduct. Asked if there was anything Kavanaugh's accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, could say that might lead him to oppose Kavanaugh's nomination, Cruz replied, absolutely, but did not elaborate. O'Rourke held his own against Cruz's rhetorical jabs, but didn't quite hit back. At several points, he accused the Republican of lying and twisting his words. But when challenged by Cruz, he refused to repeat the words he said Cruz was misquoting an intentional tactic he had practiced in advance, not wanting to give Cruz or his allies the opportunity to take his words out of context and use the clip against him in a political ad. At one point, Gromer Jeffers, a Dallas Morning News reporter who served as one of the moderators, asked Cruz about his relationship with President Donald Trump and the personal attacks Trump had waged against Cruz's father and wife during the 2016 campaign. He asked Cruz to respond to those who said he had lost his dignity by aligning himself with Trump. Cruz said he had put aside hurt feelings from the campaign to work with Trump because it was his job to do so. I've got a responsibility, which is to fight for everybody here and every person in this state, Cruz said. And he attacked O'Rourke for prematurely expressing support for impeaching Trump, noting it would make it hard for him to work with the president. O'Rourke replied that Texas needed a senator who would oppose Trump on issues like trade and tariffs, which have been devastating to the state's farming and manufacturing sectors. O'Rourke reminded the audience numerous times that he had campaigned in every one of the state's 254 counties. He said voters were wondering where Cruz has been. We need a junior senator who will stand up to this president, O'Rourke declared. In the final minutes of the debate, each man was asked to name something they admire about their opponent. O'Rourke praised Cruz for being a dedicated public servant and said that he respects the personal sacrifices he has made to do his job, including being away from his wife and kids. The Democrats said that even though they disagree politically, Cruz was fighting for what he believed, and he respected that. When it was Cruz's term, he praised O'Rourke for the same thing though he couldn't resist getting in a dig at the congressman. The senator brought up a series of debates he participated in with Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, a socialist, and offered O'Rourke a backhanded compliment. 
I think Congressman O'Rourke is passionate, energetic and believes what he is fighting for, Cruz said. I think you are absolutely sincere like Bernie, that you believe in expanding government and higher taxes. True to form, O'Rourke responded drilly.